Hey everybody, listen, it's not important that you necessarily know what I look like, so I don't need much light, but what I want to say, I want to say first of all to my brothers and sisters in the African American community, the black church, and to anybody else that can relate to what's on my heart right now. First of all, I want to send up prayers for everybody that has been touched by this situation with Kim Burrell. I want to pray for her and I want to pray for people on both sides. Because actually what has happened is God has opened up a window of conversation for a reason. Um, it is my belief that it's so both sides can can learn something. Who am I? Wow. I'm Reverend LaDonna Clark, a.k.a. Lady Jam, the black lesbian Christian rap activist on a mission to stop the hate start the healing, save lives, and decrease the body bags. And um, the bottom line is this issue right here has come to a level now that God wants everybody to open their eyes and look straight on and deal with it because it has to be dealt with in order for the church to go to the next level in order for God's ministry that really is inclusive to be inclusive of everyone uh, and and let me say from one perspective that I love everybody even if they don't love me okay I'm willing to help anybody even if they're not willing to help me and trust me there there I've come in contact with people who would have left me for dead for one reason only and that's because I am a honest and truthful <laughs> lesbian Christian okay so I just want you to know that Jesus said that they will know the love they will know you are my disciples by the love you show one to another and so right now, we really got to get back to love. And how do we do that? By having honest conversations. And not just looking at things from just our perspective. You know? Um, I saw Tasha Page Lockhart's very, very heartfelt um, video on how she feels about what happened to Kim Burrell and and, and, it, and it really really touched my heart and you know made me want to give the sister a hug and say you know what God's got it I know you know it but God's got it and at the same time it made me feel but like I wanted to say to her after the hug now let me tell you why I love Jesus because I've been where you are too many times when the church has left me for dead when the church has called me out my name when all I wanted to do was serve but I wasn't welcome. I was like baby Jesus. When I showed up at the end, there was no room for me at the church. And at the same time, I think it's important to say, I've got compassion for Kim Burrell. I've got compassion for Tasha. I've got compassion for Shirley Caesar. I've got compassion for every individual who hates my guts and thinks I'm going to hell. I've got compassion for them. I've got love for them because that's what Jesus instilled in my heart like Dr. King Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King said it's kind of hard to 
to like somebody who's who's bombing your home or your uh, or, 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 or uh, trying to do other godforsaken things basically dr king said but god didn't say like god said love and i believe that's what drove him to 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 continue on in the midst of all of the hatred that was coming out of the mouths of people who literally wanted to take his life for one reason and one reason only because of the color of his skin and because he was standing up he was taking a stand against injustice so I say to everybody we don't know what God intended for people's life no matter what people get up in the pulpit and say ultimately it's between them and God and you can't tell somebody that God told them something that God didn't tell them something nor can they tell you that God didn't tell you something so I'm just asking everybody just stand in your truth whatever your truth is stand in your truth but learn to respect other people's truth I learned to do that so therefore I was able to still work with people and find common ground and that's what we need to do because there's too many people hurting and there's too many things that we have to deal with to be drowning in unnecessary hurt and pain unnecessary disrespect let me tell you I've been doing music a long time I was in radio broadcasting I was number one in the national Arbitron ratings at one point and when I got blessed spiritually and God opened my eyes I had to walk away from a multi-million dollar industry that I loved because God said radio and the entertainment industry was going from clean fun to nasty as you want to be to nasty as you want to be no respect for you or me and it was going to be like psychological murder and if I didn't want the blood on my hands to leave the industry and said that you know uh, the enemy of good was going to use the music and the young people and the next generations uh, to carry this unforsaken message and that was going to destroy and tear down um, and do a whole lot of damage so I left mainstream music and mainstream radio like I said after being at the top of my game and I would do it again because I left for the right reasons because God told me to and even though I loved that industry I I woke up I breathed that industry that that industry was very important to me um, I walked away from it to save my life and and I believe God continued to use me to save other people's lives I believe God will kept me kind of on the sidelines and on the outside because God didn't want me to be tainted but now God is going to restore everything the canker worm stole and I believe that with all my heart and soul and with that said I need us to stand up and be bold for what is right what is true and what is love okay and not hate all right I need us to respect each other as a people as a community and as a nation we've got too much to deal with folks too much there's too much riding on us getting our minds right you know there's something to the the biblical scriptures that nobody can take from them and that is I don't care who you are you can use that Bible to lift somebody up to lift yourself up or to tear people down the same thing with our tongues our tongue can be used to, to, to love people or hate people to lift people up or tear people down and I believe that's why you know it's said that the Bible is a double-edged sword 
because depending on how we can how we use it it cuts both ways okay and it's that way for a reason so you can't use it against me and I can't use it against you that's my belief and I'll tell you one more thing you know when Jesus the story about Jesus and the adulterous woman when he wrote when he, first of all when he dealt with those folks who I, you could say you know I can't speak for Kim Burrell but I could say that that situation it's almost like everybody was throwing stones at her you know and just like the same thing with the adulterous woman and then Jesus steps in and says hold up wait a minute and hooks her up with the holy hookup I know God's gonna hook her I know God's gonna hook him up and God and, and, and already has because she has faith it may take some time the healing but God's got Kim just like God had this woman and, and let me say one more thing it, the Bible never tells us what Jesus wrote in the dirt of course after he dealt with them and said those who with who are without sin cast the first stone and they all start dropping their stones and walking away cuz they knew what was up they, they 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 knew they knew what was up Jesus reached down and wrote something in the dirt and it never says what Jesus wrote but I tell you what the Holy Spirit told me how can dust Jesus wrote how can dust condemn dust from dust we came from dust we return how can dust condemn dust let us love one another as God has loved us unconditionally respectfully even if we don't agree in Jesus name Love to the world, everybody. Love to the world. God bless you. Church in the hood, baby. Hip-hop for life. Jesus, justice, and community. Peace.